Many fans will recognize multi-talented actress Christine Toy Johnson on both season two of Netflix's Marvel series Iron Fist, as well as Lifetime's new drama series You. Currently, you can find her on stage performing in Fifth Avenue's uh, production of Come From Away, and we're excited to have her here on New Day today. Hi, Christine. Hi, thank you so much yeah. for having me. Yeah, we were just talking about how we match. We yes. got the memo got the together. Memo. Mm -hmm. The blue and black memo. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And tell me about uh, Fifth Avenue Theater's production, because I know that you've had some of your friends from the show right here on New Day before. Yes, we yeah. have. Becky Goldsvig was on, yep. uh, who plays Beverly Bass, who was also here, I know, okay. earlier. And they must have talked mm -hmm. well about us since you're yes. here, right? They didn't scare well, you away. No, they didn't. Okay, no, no. that's Actually, good. So the Come From Away is the first national tour of the show that is opening at the Fifth Avenue Theater and will be continuing on That's across awesome. North America for the next year. Um, but I have played the Fifth Avenue. Uh, this is my third time there. Oh, it is. Yes. Okay. So, so you're, I, I love it. You're a native, basically. Oh, yes, I, yeah, basically. you can claim that. Well, That's you know, fine. The mayor came by our show last week. Oh, you're even and, more important than she, a normal she, mayor. And um, she declared that we were honorary Seattleites. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. And what do you like about doing theater? Oh, wow. Is that a big question? It is a big question. <laughs> I mean, I've been doing it for my entire life. Yeah. I was one of those kids who put on a theatricalized version of the uh, 12 Days of Christmas okay. for my parents' captive holiday guests. You know, that, that was that kid. <laughs> right. And so I've just been doing it ever since. I, I love, um, I'm, I feel like um, inherently I'm a storyteller because okay. I'm a writer as well. Okay. And I just love the, the, ephemeral uh, event yes. of a live performance that you have the audience there right. you'll, you'll the energy of it the energy uh, yeah. and you will never have the same alchemy ever uh -huh. again because of the the very the different people that oh, are in the really room that's really interesting yeah. that's really interesting and you're also on Netflix's Iron Fist yes. which is a Marvel series right and that is some rabid fan base it is, right yeah yeah what what is that like being in I mean, a Marvel series. It's pretty fascinating and fantastic. Yeah. I honestly, I did not know a lot about it. My husband was a big Marvel fan okay. uh, since childhood with the comic books. And yeah, everything. so he's like, "Don't mess this up." Yes, yeah, right. basically, yeah. basically, don't make me yeah. mad. <laughs> but my character uh, wasn't in the comic book, so I was a okay. little, yeah, you there know. you go, <laughs> <laughs> a little license. That's awesome. <laughs> but um, it was great. We shot it all in Brooklyn, New York, over um, from January to April. Okay, and uh, a lot of late night shoots cold winter shoots yeah. uh, but really fun uh, very different from come from away yeah. as you can imagine right right um, you're doing all sorts of stuff I yeah. mean and is it different working with Netflix compared to working with lifetime like do you see a big difference in those two well sure I mean each network and each show has this different style and mm -hmm. it's different energy and um, the shows are completely different yeah. and they're in their whole uh, storytelling, uh, right? Yeah. That's so, uh, but but I've met so many amazing people uh, in both in all of these projects that I'm working on. I feel so lucky. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. And you and you've been doing a lot of work as an advocate for inclusion, right? And tell me about that. Well, um, I am. First of all, I'm part of the elected leadership of both Actors' Equity Association, which is the union for stage performers and stage managers, okay. and also the Dramatists Guild of America, which is the trade uh, association for playwrights, librettists, lyricists, and composers. Okay, you're, doing, and, uh, you're on all the all the bases. You've yeah, covered them all. Well, uh, yeah, it just it just turned yeah. out to be something that I'm passionate about, about yeah. trying to help advocate for my fellow actors and writers. And through that work, I've, I've done a lot of advocacy work for inclusion and diversity. Okay. And and, um, you know, it's something that I've just always believed so strongly in that the arts have this incredible opportunity mm -hmm. to shift perceptions of who we are oh, and what we can do, yeah. both for ourselves and yeah. for each other. And so, um, but but in order to do that, we really need to have a full picture of what our American landscape really looks like. Right. And so um, that means including everyone. And, and um, so I've been very passionate about um, advocating for different ways to do that and, okay. and new ways to look at the challenges and the solutions for that. And how do you feel like, I mean, where, where do you think we're at right now in terms of of representing people correctly and also giving people of all of all sex of life um, a, a chance to have their voice heard? I think we are farther than we've ever been. Okay, that's good. Um, See, positivity, the, that's I like positive that. Thing yeah. Because I definitely, I, as I said, I've been doing this uh, my whole life. I've been doing it professionally my mm -hmm. whole adult life. Uh, I joined the uh, professional stage union the summer I graduated from high school. Oh, so right. So I have that's, been doing this forever. Well, that was yeah. only five years ago, uh, I'm right, sure. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> um, and um, so I have seen a change for sure. You have. In 
in not only in rep the uh, ways we're represented, mm -hmm. but in the the amount of representation and the the breadth of that. But we still we certainly have a, a long way to go. Right. And um, but I'm encouraged because even just uh, looking at my projects this year, mm -hmm. um, to play uh, this real character, Diane Diane Marson is a real person okay. um, in Come From Away, right. um, and um, she is not Asian American, um, but I'm I'm. Uh, I have the great privilege to right. share her story and yeah. through whatever kind of essence I might be able to share mm -hmm. and uh, my particular brand of joy. Um, and then in Iron Fist, uh, there are so many Asian American actors that were uh, cast in both season one and two. That's awesome. And uh, we're playing all different kinds of people. Right. Um, so I think that that is a good sign of progress. Absolutely. So you've seen your roles change and, and your opportunities change sure. in the last couple decades For in terms sure. of maybe what were you feeling like you were offered when you very first started well, there, out? It used to be a joke that I would be just always the doctor or the oh. reporter. <laughs> you know, I would say, thank yeah. you, Ann Curry, yeah, right. for having, you know, creating <laughs> half of my career. Um, and I still thank Ann Curry. I love her. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> but, uh, but now uh, yeah. we we're able to play all kinds of people like we are in life. Right. You know, it's awesome. Exactly. <laughs> Nobody's just one thing. That's exactly. like the point, exactly. right? We're right. all multifaceted right. people. That's exactly. really cool. Yeah. And so Come From Away is at Fifth Avenue Theater right now. Right. And tell me about what people would expect if they go to this show. It is uh, this beautiful piece of theater that, uh, first of all, t for your audiences that m might not have heard Becky and, and Bev talk about this before, yeah. it is it is uh, based on true story, the true story of um, 38 planes, 7,000 people that were diverted to Gander, Newfoundland in Canada on 9-11-2001 oh, wow. when the American yeah. airspace was closed. And the people of Gander and the surrounding towns yeah. opened their homes and their hearts yeah. to these strangers and took them in and took care of them for five days. So the stories in Come From Away are inspired by true stories uh -huh. that happened during those five days. And um, it's just so much about, for me and for our, our company, the power of the healing power of mm -hmm. kindness and compassion. That sounds really powerful. Yeah. Well, yeah. you can see Christine and Come From Away at the Fifth Avenue Theater through Sunday, this Sunday, and we'll link you to tickets on New Day's website. Season two of Iron Fist is streaming on Netflix right, right now. And when we come back, an uplifting new book that encourages kids to strive for tomorrow no matter what happens today. We'll meet the author and illustrator next.